Okay, if we go to Blackmagic Designs support page and look on their latest downloads, see that today they released Public Beta 2 of DaVinci Resolve 15, both Studio and just a regular DaVinci Resolve 15, the free one. So you can come down here and download the newest version. And in this video, I'll go over some of the differences between the first beta and the second beta. So I'll bring that up right now. So this is when you start up and get to the edit page. It looks pretty much the same. Uh, I'd say one thing I did see a difference with, and I'll demonstrate it here. I'll bring in some footage. Bring that down to the timeline. And then they still have the fusion titles. It looks like they have pretty much the same ones. But in a previous video, if you look here, that I uploaded to my channel, if you looked at the first fusion title here, when you uh, added it to your project, the first line of text was actually at a line and it wasn't lining up with their text box. So I actually did a video where I showed how you can modify these. And I actually chose that one to modify and move the line back up again. But they seem to have fixed that in beta two. So if I come down here and add that title here and we play through it, you see that they fixed the first line of text. So again, Originally, it was down below the blue background box here. And now when you actually use it straight from them, it seems to be lined up, so they were able to fix that. So that's one difference. Not a big difference, but it's something I noticed right off the bat. I'll delete that. And then another pretty big difference, especially for Windows users of the Resolve 15 beta, uh, original beta, if you come into the Fairlight tab, and you come to the Effects Library, we now have the noise reduction plugin, which was missing in the Windows version of the first beta. So that's a nice addition uh, for us Windows users. And I'm actually, if you look at my channel, I have a quick video on using it in the Windows version uh, and get a little demonstration for it. So that was another difference. Uh, if you come into Fusion, you have to do this. Still, if you go right from the edit tab with no media, and you go to the Fusion tab. You still can't add anything. You can't start off from scratch. You still have to add something from the edit page. I still, if you follow my uh, other video where I was able to create a transparent background that you can use. So you don't have to use the color generator. You could go right to a transparent background and start Fusion off with that. So I have, again, I have a video on my channel showing how to create that so you can use that in your own projects. Start off with a transparent background, which comes in handy. But another thing I noticed that in the effects library, under Fusion, under their templates, in beta one, at least when I tried to add any of these lens flares, which they have V01 through 40. Nothing would happen. You'd get like the controls, but you wouldn't actually see anything. I'll put that in one. But now, if you add these, you actually get the lens flares, and you have a large selection here to choose from. And you have all these different settings you can change and modify. We could change different settings here for it and change the look of it, and here I'll change the center point here of the flare, the lens flare. But again, maybe I missed it, but I'm pretty sure when I tried that with the original beta, none of these worked. So that's another difference. Now there might be more differences, but that's kind of the main thing that I've noticed so far playing with it. Uh, it does seem more stable. A uh, few things, a few projects, and a few files I was bringing in and trying to use in the previous beta, in the original beta, uh, was crashing Resolve 15, but now I've been playing with it for probably an hour or more, and it hasn't crashed once, and I've done several different things, uh, like adding several different videos and making a fusion clip out of them. So here I'll add another 
add another video here. So again, at least with the Windows version of the beta, the first beta, if I was to take two clips, add one, add another one above it. And can come out here and trim this down. If I was to select both of them, right click and choose new fusion clip. Before when I went into fusion, it would immediately crash, but now I can actually see my two different videos and can play through them. And it seems uh, at least Initially, it seems like it's more stable. So, that was just a quick introduction to the Beta 2 of Resolve 15, uh, at least the Windows version. And again, uh, if I find anything else new, I'll do a follow-up video. But as of right now, these kind of major changes. Uh, the other things, like in the color page, seems pretty much the same. Uh, major change in Fairlight was the inclusion of the noise reduction filter in the Windows version. So again, if I see any more changes, I'll make a follow-up video. But hopefully you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.